Good morning and welcome to Brentwood Beauty Buzz. My name is Caroline and we are here today from Advanced Skin Care. Hello. Hi, I'm the manager here uh, at Advanced Skin Care in the heart of Brentwood and I'm joined by our wonderful providers, Dr. Iman. Hello. Lucy, Lucy and Maya. And Maya. Lucy is our physician's assistant here and Maya is our medical esthetician. esthetician. And today we're going to be talking about neuromodulators. How are you? Just saying that word, everybody is so used to the word Botox, yes. aren't they? That they think Botox is the, only one. the neuromodulator. That's the only one. So today we would like to talk to you about the three that we offer. Um, the providers will talk to you and we'll just say how much we love them <laughs> <laughs> and we need them in our lives uh, yes. but they will be talking about what they can do for us and the effects and, and what's and, the difference yeah and what's the difference so um if you're interested in that stay with us send us your questions hashtag your questions um we will answer them as they come in so let us know what you'd like to know uh, what else? How are you guys? We're good. We're good. here again. We're here. Yes, I like her. It's fun. We made Thursday. it to the next Thursday. Yeah. And Very patients fun. are loving yeah. it. They're, yeah, they're, they are. They're talking about more our more BBB Thursday. <laughs> and we are warming up to the occasion. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I've had a couple good. of comments before we get into our neuromodulators. I've had a couple of comments about the table, about us being squished next to the TV. My son was one of them. How come you're all squished into that table? And I said, well, everybody wanted a table. We needed something to put things on. Sitting in a couch on, with a coffee table didn't quite work um, because we were all squirming around yeah. trying to look as thin and, and spelt as we possibly could, <laughs> and that didn't work. So then we wanted a round table, but then there isn't enough room to go around, and the only way it seemed to work was a higher table to fit with the television so that we could show our before and afters and all of our goofy stuff and all be in the same um, area. Mm -hmm. So we look all shoved together, yes. but we like it that way. It's a struggle getting on <laughs> but the shoes, it's, but I love it's them. a struggle. I keep slipping off. You keep slipping yeah. off. It moves, but it's, I love so it. So this is why we did it this way. It'll probably change, um, but uh, well, I, every I week it changes. Was, I know. Yes. It's like there, the in front of the TV, of, we're moving yeah. around the room. We wanted to give you a little look at the office also, so I think what we'll do uh, when we're done talking is give you a little tour of the office. Um, Leanna and Andrea will take a little walk around the office and show you our home away from home. And we want you to come in. We want you to call us 310-312-1231 in Brentwood. And we have a question, I believe. By Waterways, they want to know, are the two in the right related? No, we're not. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> She's Polish, I'm Armenian, but it works out. We yeah, look alike. She looks like my second mom. Mm -hmm. There's no well, my right. sister, really. More yeah. Than, yeah, mom. No, That's no, no, right. sister. All right, ladies, so <laughs> let's get going. <laughs> let's get going with neuromodulators rather Neuromodulators. than okay. Botox. Please yes. don't ask me how to. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I won't. I promise. Botox. 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 Yes. I want to just. Do I want to try and change yes. that. I just okay. think that Botox is wonderful. Don't get me wrong. It's our friend. But I, there are other neuromodulators. Yeah. So we're getting yes. used to that word today. What do you guys think about it? Um, well, there are three that we use commonly in the United States. There, there are others outside of the States, but for what we use here, there's Dysport, Xeomin, and Botox. And everybody knows Botox. It's, it's the, the number one, I guess, in the game. Mm -hmm. But the other two work just as, just as well, if not sometimes better, depending on the patient. It, it all depends on the patient and how their um, receptors and their muscles Mm -hmm. react to the proteins that are in the vial and um, it's, it all has the same active ingredient but the only difference is the the proteins that cross link right. it which which makes them differ and then 
you know, you could react to Botox differently than I could, or, mm -hmm. or work, it was or human, could work better for you. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. um, I have no preference. Sometimes patients have a preference, so we try to have all three here. Um, so Is it because know. Botox came out first? <coughs> did it come out first? I think so. Um, I think so. I, it did come out first. I think it's the way they're marketing it. Yes. It's like a brand, so mm -hmm. everybody knows Botox. Everybody thinks freezing the face, and they think Botox. Mm -hmm. So I guess in the it's Zeoman is like in the back burner and people forget about this port completely. But let's say if somebody has an event in three days and they want to look good for the event, um, they're like, I want some Botox. But Botox actually takes about 10 days for it to actually, uh, what, actually the full effect, full effect, mm -hmm. and it, it penetrate into the muscle and relax the neuro neurotransmitters. Whereas this port is more immediate. Mm -hmm. Like in two days, all of a sudden, boom, you're frozen. <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh. Whoa, no lines. Botox, it takes some time. Xeomin, I, I feel like it works very similar to Botox. Mm -hmm. Same I personally I do too. love Xeomin. I love Xeomin. I love it. I don't see the difference. I like all of them. I found that younger people that have this port, um, a person that we know very well loves this port because it softens the entire area. It seems to spread a little more is what she said. It's not so localized mm -hmm. and it seems to soften, especially forehead. <coughs> it, it um, I don't wanna say bleeds a little, it just, it softens the yes. entire area yeah. rather than that one muscle that you're going after. So that's why she liked it anyway. Cause I said, why do you like that more than Botox, right. you know? You need less, you say? I, I don't think it's less because the units are different, yeah. right? You need more units for this port. But the volume is the same. It's the it's same right. the volume. Shape. The way her and I would calculate what we're doing is the same yeah, exact it's the way. Same. It's just what we're writing down sure. is different. Because they'll say, how come I needed 98 units of this port? Right. I only need 26 units of Botox. And it's because They calculate why? different. They calculate different. Well, in the vial, um, it states that there's 300 units versus 100 units in a Botox vial. That's why. So it's basically three times the unit amount. Got it. So it's from a number standpoint. Yes, from a number standpoint. From a volume standpoint it's and same. effect standpoint, it's the same. Mm -hmm. It's the same exact thing. Mm. Um, okay. I love this because a lot of people ask all the time. Yeah. I want to get Botox, and I and I've asked them if they've had Botox before, and they'll say no. And then I'll ask why, and it's always because my friends get Botox. Mm -hmm. So I think educating the right. patients out there, right, right. Mm -hmm. and um, Zeman's a little less money, I think. And then you know, there's different so reasons they think it's to not why. As good. I yeah. know, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But so I think it's the, the muscle and how strong the yeah. muscle is, right. and what look yeah. you're going for. Exactly. Like exactly. I like a little movement. Am I moving? Yes, you are. <laughs> Just you're not, you're I'm not just joking. joking. <laughs> but it looks, it looks good. Yeah. But I will say, um, I don't know if this is like hard fact, but if I'm, if I'm not mistaken with Dysport, if you have a milk allergy, you should not do Dysport. You should do Botox, Botox and Zeomin. Um, I forget why. Something with the proteins. There might be something yeah. with that's derived from uh, lactose or something. I'm not sure. We will look that up. And we will make sure that yes. we post the yes. answer I should, later. I should know. We should, okay. we should know this. this is, we're trying. Is, but this is a conversation. Mm. Um, a lot we're of eating. people I think, think it has to do with some egg, uh, egg eggs, uh, allergies. Well, oh. with it's, it has Does to do with Does anybody know what I'm not Would sure, you like to Something about the milk allergy and people um, not react well to the disport. But it could have just been a few people who had a side effect and they related it to that. Mm. And they just had it interesting to see the studies. I'll look yeah. this up and I'll... Yeah. I've tried it, three of them. I feel they work just... Yeah. Do you have, have a milk allergy? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you have an I egg allergy? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have a shell? Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> like, Maya okay. will never care. Give yeah, it to me. She just says I'm like, just there it to me. Free. Yeah, give it to me. <laughs> And then with the um, this the protein oh. around yes. Oh. Someone says cow's milk protein is in is in stapler and not the others. 
Okay. 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 Oh, it's yeah. more sta- is is not stable. Is that what? Is maybe that's it. Stable? Unstable, maybe. Oh, maybe that's what it maybe is. Maybe that's what it is. Discord. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, in Discord. I Thank love you. that you're joining I in. I love it. Yes. Say hi to Joy. Thank hi. you, Joy. <laughs> I love that. Thank you Say for hi. answering her question. <laughs> we We're love Joy. that. We We're love Joy. you joining We're in. You. We have few joys in our life. Yes, we yes. do. I think it's Joy Rich. Joy Rich. 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 She said yeah. hi. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Um, yes, we love it when you join in. That's what we're here for. We're not here to preach. We're not here to. We're here to discuss and learn together. So when we do discuss things like this, if you have something that you'd like to add, we want you to. It's important. You're just a part of this. As we are, we yeah. like to learn together and to bring things that are new to you or to discuss or to debate because we have debates in here all the time. Oh, I mean, like something day. and the, yeah, every, every day. day. And that's what makes beauty fun. Beauty should be fun. It should be something that we enjoy doing. We try to make advanced skincare a place where you can come and have fun, have a cup of coffee. Before you know it, you're on Maya's bed having a pimple popped, or you're. It's wonderful makeup to have chair, this. No, makeup yeah, yeah it's a bed. nice Maya's, environment. Maya's bed is just so relaxing. It's great. It's isn't when it? they come to our bed. <laughs> yeah, it's, they it's hate different. you, but they, they love you like later. Us. Yes, that's what she likes to say. You hate me now, but you'll love me later. And this is beauty is power. Because, yes. and I just That's think that, slogan, yeah. Yeah. I just think that beauty is fun. I think that you can be beautiful with no makeup on, you can be beautiful with makeup, you can wear, Maya makes me wear makeup, but we can be, we can do all these things and what a fun thing to do and to be able to have something like this. I, I had a lady the other day who did have Botox and she said, everybody thinks I'm angry all the time. And, and she said, and now nobody ever says that to me after having Botox because she doesn't have those two lines here. And that makes a big difference to her world. So it can be more than fun also. It can change the way people look at you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 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 So and also you know. for headaches. Yeah. You it's know. great for headaches. It's great for sweating as well. Well, and I've got a few photos. Oh, yeah. oh God. <laughs> <laughs> And so I picked a nice one. I love this because she looks so serene and nothing pinches or hurts. And this is the, the right. She needs anything. She looks like you. She looks like with your lashes and your eyebrows. Oh, she's just gorgeous. Um, she. This is mostly the area that we get concerns about. Do you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right here. The, the globella. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Why, why? Why does that? Why does that affect a lot of people? Do you think? Is it worry? Is it frowning? Is it? <laughs> it's like yeah, nice. when they're nice. in the sun, when they're driving. And yeah, they're squinting, they're yeah. reading, they're watching sense. TV. So they're always using and contracting this muscle. Okay. So it actually causes tension, headaches when you're constantly contracting that muscle and you're right. trying to focus. Right. All right. Well, I liked that picture. This is a patient that you were um, injecting for that area. Oh, and um, she loves it. She absolutely loves it. This is one where we see a before and after. And um, right, because a lot of people don't like those lines when you raise up your your eyebrows. So where would you put the Botox here? Is it in the forehead? Is it up here? Or is it here? Or is it everywhere? So I personally never like to do one area and neglect the other. Because, I agree 100%. Um, when you're only putting Botox in the forehead, you're in fact like dropping it in a sense. Yeah. But if you add some to the glabella, it raises the glabella. And then together you get this crisp fresh look mm-hmm. and if done right it can be very conservative but effective so we everything okay <laughs> over there Maya yep I'm okay. just being direct <laughs> <laughs> I love it I love it I love it thank you oh, she right. tried to make a that smooth was, I'm exit. so sorry you can't do anything smooth around here because she, I'll catch I mean you were like okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. okay. Well, thank you See, so same with this patient. We addressed her frontalis, and um, 
when you address the frontalis, the forehead muscle, that muscle elevates your brows. When you relax it with Botox, it, it falls, like how Dr. Iman explained it. And patients, that's when they experience heaviness. When we balance it off by injecting the glabella, you get a nice brow lift, you, um, it takes away the tension from the brows and you're able to arch properly. So it balances off the expression versus just addressing one area. So you chose Botox because they're stronger muscles. What, why did you choose Botox? Well, I had access to Botox at that time. Oh, okay. okay. So that was it. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. cool. So just so people know at home that they can, yeah, yeah. they say they just went and had Xeomin and they mm -hmm. say, oh, well, I should have I had mean, Botox. I've used Xeomin on... Uh, numerous patients, people that are like skeptical about Botox, they're like, well, what if I have an allergic reaction? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, why don't we do Xeomin? The protein around the neuromodulator is less, so you can call it organic. Oh, and it's more pure. So it's more mm -hmm. pure base. And um, you can try that out and see if you like it. And if you want to switch off and use Dysport or Botox, I mean, it's still the same mechanism of action. It, relaxes the muscle. So that's interesting for mm -hmm. first time use. I like that. The other thing is um, sometimes if if they're calculating down to the number yes. of units, right. and we usually offer Xeomin at a little bit cheaper. If it's a matter of a few units extra that I think would benefit them, I, I, I recommend Xeomin so that they can get that high number and still get the same effect, but you know, they're, they're paying it's a little, a little less expensive. Less. Yes, okay. but it works the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this was another forehead plus glabella that was treated, and um, I, I usually do more in the glabella area mm -hmm. because you have to go deeper. That muscle, the glabella um, area, is, is here. this area. Yes, and it's actually like a triangle. So I usually have the patient squint, and then I can see the peripheral aspect of that muscle, mm -hmm. and that's where I know not to go beyond, not to go above to just kind of stay within that, not to go too deep into the eyebrow, because that's what'll drop the eyebrow in the glabella area. Um, and then if they have a lot of forehead lines, I'll load them up, but typically I'm very conservative with the forehead because I want that open look and, and I don't want it to end up falling with doing too much in the forehead. So I'm, I'm a little bit more conservative in the forehead. I am too. I'm very yeah, somebody that. called me the other day, they'd gone somewhere else and they got a droopy eye. And they asked if there's anything they could do. Is there? There is. There is. Um, it's called uh, iopidine. Okay. It's an eye drop. It's an eye drop. It helps kind of alleviate pressure or weight from the. If it's a lid droop, it'll help more so than a brow droop. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you have a brow droop, you kind of have to wait, and it'll eventually uh, it'll peak after yeah. a month or so, yeah. and they'll regain right. mobility. Right. Right. How about if it's opposite, if it's too archy? Oh, then you can definitely you do can it. Fix that. can fix that. That's an easy fix. Yeah, if, mm -hmm. if you get this Good Spock question. look, like the Star Trek look, you just kind of throw a couple units in the hairline and it, that's it what just, I do. It yeah, just kind of like just relaxes it. Of relaxes without course. dropping your brow. Spock. It's called the Mephisto sign. Oh. It's actually called the Mephisto sign. What would we do without you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry. I have like random terms. Like <laughs> McDonald's. Of both of you. McDonald's. Okay, this is an interesting <laughs> one. Um, and I think that she is a gorgeous woman. And I think she's gorgeous without this. But clearly, if this is Botox, it looks amazing. She looks flawless. She mm -hmm. looks flawless. But I like her that way too. I do. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't make me think any differently of her. To I tell you the truth. She had her tear troughs done too, though. She yeah, had maybe. tear troughs, nasal labial folds. Yeah. Botox. I just think that she looks. Um, she does look refreshed. She looks good. She looks refreshed. She looks good, but she looks like a model. Here, she looks like I'm a beautiful woman. You know that doesn't. But we don't want that, so. Let's move <laughs> swiftly along. <laughs> now, guys, guys, yes. um, what do you think about men? We have more and more gentlemen. Rotox. Rotox that are coming in, and they look good. Yes. And they have it getting it on the jaw, right? The jaw, crow's feet. Mostly, again, they focus on the 11s and the forehead. I don't. I don't totally freeze this for them. Right. I give. It, I yeah. leave it for them a little bit, but I. I'll smooth out their foreheads, 
soften over here, soften over here. But um, I, I keep them looking masculine unless yeah. they don't want, unless they want to be frozen. It's usually their husbands or wives. So it could be his husband or his wife that comes in and says, I want them to get this done. Mm -hmm. And then they end up loving it. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of the times it's and the case. And this is a side effect not on only on aging. It's expression lines. He has, he's so expressive. Right. And he wrinkles like this because right. he mimic what his face so much. Yeah. It's not just... You I know, when he's they call that character, character in men. So yes. They have character. In women, we just look old. Is he British There's or something in Australia. There's something not the right sun. there. Yeah. You know which actor I, I always watch on the TV screen? I mean, I think he's sexy, but Mark Wahlberg. He oh, has very, super deep 11s. I just want to just soften it out yeah. a little. Oh, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But he's got such a baby oh, face. No. So he, he does. Needs, but he that line. I no, he needs that. I mean, nice. come on. Those are the two I think. <laughs> you're not part of the I am Leo. at a movie premiere. You need those lines, oh. otherwise oh. you'll be lousy uh, actor. He needs those lines. Needs I think those. so too because he's so young yeah. looking. He's got such a small roundish face, right? Okay, now something somebody may not have thought about is armpits. Oh. Hyperhydrosis. Hyper what do you think about that one? I've never done it, I'm going to try it. I think it works great. It lasts about six months. Yeah. Yes. Um, but you need a whole vial. 50, 50. For the hands, I think it's 100, 100. Really? For the feet, oh, yes. that's the indication. We're going to get yeah. to the hands in a minute. Feet yeah. is 100, 100. But, I mean, you could do less. It's just that it probably won't last as long. It won't be as effective if you do less than 50. Right. Well, my question is, where do you sweat if you're not going to sweat under your arms? Where does it come out? Does it just not? Else? Your upper lip, your uh, no, 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 you're gonna be really? sweaty. Yeah. All no, I'm not doing, not doing it. it. I'm not sure. I, yes. I, I've thought about that, but uh, honestly, it's like one percent of your sweat glands. It's not gonna no. really do much. Has anybody somewhere. done this at home? Can you chime in and let us know if there's excess sweat anywhere else? Gosh, we're getting up close and personal now. <laughs> but if you could let us know if that's the case for you, I will let you know after I've done it. I'll actually film. No, I won't. <laughs> I will let you know how it works I after I do it. Twice a week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does it hurt? I mean, you can be numb. And I oh, you can numb it. Okay. Yeah. The area. It doesn't hurt. No. I mean, when you get a little towards the tail of the breast, it stings a little, but it's not it's just very tolerable. Are yeah. women better patients there or men? Are women are always women. 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 They are. We can understand more. I know men are watching this right now. So That's I'm so <laughs> funny. Are you guys, are men, what do you think? Do you think men, hashtag men or hashtag women, are more crybabies when it's under the armpits? Men. Well, I guess I have men? Men. Men. <laughs> okay. So this is a good thing to do then. Now what about laser hair removal? Can it... Could it interfere with that? No. Nope. No. Nope? Okay. Nope. But patients after laser hair removal have experienced more sweat in this mm. area. Oh. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of patients come to me. Well, I feel like I'm sweating more, and because the follicle is out and the pore is more open and dilated, you you actually secrete your more and sweat. And maybe the hair isn't there too. Mm -hmm. so Cause isn't that what it's there for? Why is the hair? I don't know. Arms. <laughs> well, I'm just, just asking, you. Luce, because you know everything. No, <laughs> I really don't know why we have body hair. <laughs> I know. So it's well, because we're wearing your apes, right? Right. But I think under the arms it's to capture that sweat. Yes, right. I think so. Right? So, so to right. a little your carpet? Or something. I mean, a little yeah. carpet. Well, well like no, we some deodorant. Really, maybe back then there was no deodorant. Probably. They needed the hair to catch it. No. I think it's fascinating. I think we should evolve by now. And that we should have any, any hair. There's no point. Mm -hmm. But some people find that sexy. Some people do. Uh, some, some, all right. Very few. So. But those people, more power. <laughs> um, yeah, and few. then <laughs> the hands. Now, you must go to somebody that is very, very good to do this. Please go to a wonderful provider because... Like ours. Yes, like ours. What would happen if somebody didn't know what they were doing and did Botox in these areas? Do you, do 
you lose the deep. use of your hand or mm-hmm. can anything happen? I'm sure it's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, I've never <laughs> had any reactions from this. Um, yeah. It's a lot of volume that goes in. Well, not really. It's in it. Is yeah. it the same in the hands? 100 units? 100 each. <gasps> 100 each? Is what's recommended. Ooh. But I've never had anybody who's, who's wanted to do 100 in each. They'll still just split the vial. Um, it just becomes a little pricey. I just imagine myself going. <laughs> I think I had a little too much Botox. Maybe. That's the other thing. That would be annoying. Yeah, yeah right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so hands to stop sweating. That would be nice to yes. not sweat in your yes. hands, although I don't have a real I problem. Have I have a day. problem. Do you? I, I well, do. you wear gloves all day. Yes. So that could aid oh, to that. Oh, yes. You know? I wear a lot of gloves. In my case, it, it, it dries it. It dries it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, I sweat a lot. Yeah. Okay, well, that was good. I wish Sean was there with my stop clock. You'll have to look at the time. Okay, good. We still have some oh, yeah. time with Four you guys. <laughs> um, somebody wants to know, do girls like the Austin Powers chest? Um, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I do. I'm, I'm married to one. Austin Powers. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> she's <laughs> So, yes, that's funny. Well, my husband has some. some. Oh, happy oh, birthday, Joe! Happy Joe. birthday, Joe! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs> we love, we love you. Joe. Of course, I'm we need to have it. shots of tequila. <laughs> Lucy, oh. Oh. no! You know what's in our cup? This is what's in our cup. Lucy, Lucy made us. us. Oh no! Uh, it's a tea that is going to cleanse everything in our bodies today. It sure better not is. take away my Botox. No, 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 no! no. It's, it's a tea that looks like this. And um, I, I, what's in it? Cinnamon, yes. Ginger, yes. flexi, licorice, peppermint, mm. and a lot of water. Okay. okay. So that's what yeah. we're drinking. It's yummy. It's it more helps. cinnamon than anything. It helps. It's not water. bad. It helps. No, it doesn't. Help but <laughs> but <laughs> no, 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 I did not. I no, don't want my nose to drink it. But it's really, it it's, made me feel great yesterday. Doesn't it? Yes. It really cleanses your system. I love this here. Maya will come in with something. You'll come in with something. You And then I'm like, take a pill. Here's a, here's, a, here's, a, here's a vitamin that we need to take because this will help us with our brains or this will help us. And we all do this every day. We'd love to hear your suggestions. What we're missing. What do you love? What are your favorite beauty aids to um, take every day, to use every day? Because sometimes I think beauty comes from the inside too. Yes. Um, not with you, who you are as a person, that counts. But what you ingest, what vitamins you take, what, what you eat, what you drink, it all makes a difference. I know if I drink alcohol the next day, I don't feel as good as I do. Do you feel so much? much. Well, it is. Well, I have maybe much. one or two glasses, that's all. I drink a it bottle. works for me. Okay. <laughs> very well. It works. It Chardonnay. Works. It works. She likes her Chardonnay. Well, I think we're about out of time. So, again, thank you so much for joining us. You can reach us. If you'd like to email Liana, you can. Liana, L-I-A-N-A, at A-S-C, medcenter.com. You can also call us here at 310-312-1231. And then you can hashtag, is it um, Dr. Iman Abdallah? Yes. Okay. And it's, well, we're going to do a beauty by... Lucy, Lucy, Lucy B. Beauty. Beauty. Lucy Beauty. But for now, it's Aesthetics oh, by Lucy. It's cute. Yeah, right? we're going to start one up for because people want just to see her, her um, before and afters and all the things that she does in here at Advanced Skincare. So we're making a Beauty B. Be beauty. No. Lucy, Lucy B. Be beauty. beauty. Yes. <laughs> and then Maya is at advanced.skincare.redwood. So please reach out to us. Say hello. Come by. Call us. And uh, let us make an appointment for you to have a consult with one of these lovely ladies. And that's it for us from Brentwood Beauty Buzz. Take care. See you next Thank week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.